Learn and play online. Let's learn some fun facts about the sun. How much do you think you know about the sun? There will be a total of eight questions for you to answer. How many will you get right? Question one: True or false? The sun is a star. True. Just like the other hundreds of stars that you see at night, the sun is indeed classified as a star itself. However, it is actually much closer to us than the other stars. Don't worry though; even though it is closer, it is actually still very far away from Earth. The sun is at the center of our solar system within the Milky Way galaxy, and it is a gigantic ball of incredibly hot gases called plasma. It provides light and heat energy that makes it possible for life to survive on our very own planet Earth. Question two: What is the approximate distance between the sun and Earth? Ninety-three million miles, or one hundred and fifty million kilometers. Because the sun is around ninety-three million miles, or one hundred and fifty kilometers away from Earth. It takes sunlight just over eight minutes to reach our planet. Question three: Approximately, how many Earths could fit inside the Sun if it was hollow? Around 1.3 million. Not only is the Sun at the center of our solar system, it is also the largest object in our solar system as well. It is so enormous that it is over 100 times wider than Earth, and if it were hollow, you could fit around 1.3 million Earths inside of it. To put it into perspective and relate it to something you would be familiar with, it would be like using a pinhead to represent Earth, and the Sun would be as big as a basketball. Question four. Complete the sentence. The Sun has the gravitational force in our solar system. Strongest, being the largest object at the center of our solar system, this gives the sun the trophy for having the strongest gravitational force. Its gravity is so powerful that everything revolves around it. Its immense gravitational pull influences the orbiting path of all celestial bodies surrounding it, which include all the planets and their moons, asteroids, comets, and even pieces of debris out in space. Question five: How many layers make up the sun? Seven. You can think of the structure of the sun like an onion. There are several layers to it, seven to be exact. There are three inner layers of the sun: the core, radiative zone, and the convection zone. There are four distinct layers that make up the outer layers, which are the photosphere, chromosphere, transition region, and the corona. At the very center of the sun is the core, and this is the hottest region of the sun. It is about a whopping 15 million degrees Celsius, or 27 million degrees Fahrenheit, in there. By the time this ferocious heat reaches the surface of the sun, though, a lot of the heat has been lost, as it is only about 5,600 degrees Celsius, or 10,000 degrees Fahrenheit, at the surface of the sun. Don't let this animation fool you, though. The journey of the heat from the core to the surface of the sun takes a long time to complete, over 100,000 years, in fact. Question six: What percentage represents the sun's mass in our entire solar system? Ninety-nine percent. If you were to compare the sun's mass to everything else in our solar system, the sun would make up a whopping 99.86 percent. That means if you collected everything else in our solar system, including the planets, moons, comets, asteroids, and any other celestial bodies you can think of, they would only account for less than one percent of the entire mass of our solar system. Question seven: Approximately, how old is the sun? Four point six billion years old, according to scientists. The sun was born around 4.6 billion years ago, and it is currently at its halfway point in its life cycle. It is now classified as a yellow dwarf. Since its birth, it has been constantly using up hydrogen at its core through the process called nuclear fusion. Eventually, the hydrogen at its core will be used up, and the main source of fuel in about five billion years from now will be helium. 
By this time, our sun will have become a red giant. It will become so colossal that it could swallow Mercury and Venus. Towards the end of its life cycle, it will become a white dwarf. And at this stage, it will no longer create or emit energy. But don't worry, there are billions of years before that even happens. Question 8. True or false? The sun stays in the same place. False. Even though it is at the center of our solar system and influences the orbiting path of everything within it, the sun is actually always moving at an incredibly fast rate. The sun travels its own orbiting path around the Milky Way galaxy and takes everything in the solar system along for the ride. The Milky Way galaxy in which we exist is so enormous that it takes the sun around 226 million years to orbit just once around it. How many questions did you get right? Thanks for watching! Please remember to subscribe for more videos.